So, whilst the season of Love Island has ended, there is still a lot of drama looming. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back in again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. It is one click, guys. And let's get straight into this video. So, Abby is speaking exclusively with the son and is basically expressing that when she said that, you know, he's a gas engineer and he's gaslighting me in regards to Mitch, Ella off cameras, Ella B was furious, was not talking to her throughout the breaks and just did not want to have any conversation. And then Mitch came up to her and tried to speak to her in a proper way. She also says that the apology that Mitch said on camera was fake, it was performative, it was not giving authenticity and that she doesn't believe it at all. She also says that she's not bitter and that, you know, that's what Ella said, that she you knows she was bitter and that she says that she's not. She's just talking about the relationship and that the fact that she had a better connection. So off camera, there definitely was a lot of tension between them. Mitch has also come out to say that, you know, producers prevented him and many others from speaking about Katie on the reunion because they wanted to make it family friendly. And I think this is the issue with reunions. They, you know, I literally just said this on the reunion review that it comes across as family friendly. And he just said that in an interview is that they're trying to prevent XYZ drama from taking place. A lot of people think that I hate the Love Island reunions and that's simply not true. Because if you look back, the receipts are there. I loved the season four Christmas reunion. I love the season five reunion. It's just seven, eight, nine, um, and 10, especially eight, you know, were just really bad. And he explains why that they prevent X, Y, Z from happening because they want to make it a happy show. Again, the family friendly happiness is rooted in it being brand friendly, which is rooted in advertisers being attracted to brand friendly, which is rooted in revenue, money. And so that's where it all just comes down to. And that is just the train ride of it. Um, Kay has obviously responded back to Mitch and said that, you know, he is two-faced and that Salam Dem said that, you know, it's not real what she's saying, what he's saying, sorry. And basically, she's just not about it at all. Poo. Completely fake, saying that she's getting death threats um, and, you know, is just really upset about it. And what was going on with on the 30th of July? She made it sound so dramatic. This is so funny. Um... Uzi met up with Stunner Alicia, Alicia sorry, shortly after landing back in the UK. Everyone is laying into Katie, but Uzi has been enjoying the single life. He spent two nights with the stunning brunette, who he has known for over a year, just hours after hanging out with Katie. He first met Alicia over a year ago, and Uzi got back in touch with her earlier this year, and they met up in Marbella in May. He was constantly calling and messaging her right up until he went into the villa. They bumped into each other last weekend. It's given story, it's given fate. Now how is he gonna bump into her randomly and then it happens? I really wanna believe this, but I don't know why Uzi will put himself up to the task of being the bad guy so that Katie can get out of it and go back to her man. She's claiming there's no man, but it definitely looks like there is. There was a significant amount of Ofcom complaints that have come through when it came to the show being fixed. And of course, Jess and Sammy winning. Of course, Jess and Sammy have uploaded their photo shoot and that in itself is getting a lot of comments. A lot of people are saying that, you know, she's dressing way too older. It's unfortunate. They don't look good together. It's looking performative, especially Sam's face. It's not feeling right. Whilst I agree, and I said this a couple of days ago, it looked like that as well. I think that we also need to remember that they are young. They are 21, 22. And I felt like they made them seem, especially just a lot more mature for her age. And I just think that, you know, they're having fun. It's a new system, a new world for them. And that we should just be a little bit easy on them, especially um, Jess. There is a picture going around of, you know, Sammy hugging two hijabis. I genuinely thought he wanted us to go back to Islam. I thought he wanted us to get the one way ticket to Islam, child, but clearly not. Maybe he's a changed man. I'm here for it. I'm here for forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? I'm really here for it. But you know what? Maybe it's not one way ticket to Islam, guys. Maybe I'm allowed to stay. Maybe I don't have to get on that boat. Do let me know your thoughts I want to come to this quick Love Island Nugget video, just putting stuff into a video of, you know, everything that is going on and just collectively putting up for you in just five minutes. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. It's just one click, guys. Every day you're getting new content from me, filming, 
editing, uploading three to four times a day. It is hard work. It's not easy. I know it looks easy, but it's not. So I would appreciate it if you guys just click that button and subscribe. It doesn't cost you to do so. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another review.